Hi everyone. Today we are going to work on toe rises. Let's get ready. We're going to start with some squats to warm up our leg muscles and make sure that those muscles are nice and strong and engaged. Let's do 20. Here we go. Good. Next you're going to come to the ground. We're going to sit on our feet. My toes are tucked underneath me. I'm going to put my hands out in front of me like in a tabletop and I'm just going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to push my hips up with my feet and inhale, exhale and let's do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're really trying to get your hips up every time. I'm also really pushing my feet into the ground more in the first two toes here and the first two toes not sickling. Right? I want to use the stronger bones in my foot. Okay. Um, I also dug tiny little holes in the ground with my toes but that's okay. I have socks on right now. You can use a towel or yoga mat or gymnastics mat if you want. Um, um, when I also start doing the actual toe rise, I'm going to be on a slight decline in this hill right here. Uh, that's going to help me uh, work with gravity instead of against it a little bit. I would recommend finding a small hill so you could start training yourself on that. Also, if you get to go in a pool, um, doing just those presses uh, on the top of your feet are really good to help strengthen your feet in the water works really nicely. I would also recommend doing maybe a few more of those just presses on our hands and our feet. That motion is gonna help strengthen all of these leg muscles and your glutes and your core that you need. Make sure you're also using your core. So from there, uh, the easiest way that I have found is to start either coming out of a dolphin roll, which we're not gonna do today, or just starting on my up on my body here on my stomach here and then I'm gonna push my hips back I'm not gonna sit all the way back right because that kind of kills the momentum but I'm gonna sit closer on my calves more so than really on my feet and then as soon as I get there I'm gonna push my hips forward and arch back right and make sure that you are exhaling and we're just gonna reach back and uh, with a big arch Okay, that motion, that contrary motion to going up and back is going to help you get centered over your toes, right? And we want all of our weight on the top of our feet. Some other stretches that I recommend are just stretching your feet, stretching the tops of the feet, maybe even trying to stand on the top of one foot in a releve. And then you can even try both. It might be easier to try that with your hands on a counter or a chair first. So when you get started, we want to uh, maybe just do like a small one where you just come kind of halfway up and then back down so you don't have to push all the way up and straighten your knees. Just doing that a few times is gonna help strengthen your legs uh, so that you can do the full toe rise. And then once you're comfortable doing the small one and just coming back down, then you can try the full one. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on the hill. You can see there's a very slight hill that I'm going to use. <clears throat> I also prefer to do this outside versus inside because the hard floor hurts the top of my toes. So it might be easier to come outside and train yourself in the softer grass. Make sure when you throw back that you're exhaling. You don't really want to inhale unless that works better for you. But I like to inhale and then push and exhale at the same time. It helps engage the core a little bit more.
And let's do a few more. After you're done, make sure you stretch your quads. Both sides. Make sure that you also roll out your ankles and point and flex your feet. Have a great time.